Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we are doing something pretty interesting. We are going to be checking out the plum based run. We have all the plum items here and we are going to be trying to get something pretty amazing going. So, to start off we have from Fiendfolio, Golden Plums, Golden Plum Flute. And then to go along with that we have the good old Fruity Plum. And then on top of that we have the Plushy Plum. Uh, we have school bag so that we can then hold a second active and we have the reinforced plum flute, the secret item from Boss Butch. Going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be firing out a lot of different plums um, and seeing how they do. This one is particularly good because it can give us money. If it slams down on an enemy like it just did and hits an enemy, it can give us money. So we'll be hoping for the best with that. And then the, the Boss Butch one is just very strong. Like from what I've seen. In fact, can I get it to hit this multiple times? I don't think I can. That would that would have been good. Damn it, of course that bomb didn't actually go off. But yeah, if we can destroy that, we can maybe get an item out of it. I will still be taking items. Dude, there's two of these. Holy. That's uh, that's that's a rarity. On floor one as well, that's just kind of rude. I bet that's why. Because they know that most people will not be able to get the bombs to afford to actually blow either of those up on the first floor. But we can pray. We can pray. Some pennies. Lovely. And we'll pop in here again. Um, we do have Beelzebub, by the way. I need to remember that on big rooms like this, I need to get closer to the combat before I use my plum flutes because it spawns it on top of me, which means a lot of the time it misses enemies because it's too far away, which is a bit of a shame. I'll we'll probably do a little bit more with it if we get close first. Don't shoot my um, my little plum fella. But yeah, I thought this would be a fun run, fun run. I was looking for items to showcase and I came across the reinforced plum flute and thought that'd be fun. But I thought what would make it funner would be to just grab every plum item. Um, it, it's it's going to be fun. There is one other plum item I didn't grab called Plum's Manifesto, which is basically a thing that will help us charm enemies. Ah, oh, let's revive this little fella. It'll help us charm enemies and also charm enemies get healed at the end of rooms. But... I, I did try and record with that. I noticed some significant issues with it. Basically, uh, the main issue was that I got like a few uh, charmed familiars that just basically, like charmed enemies that basically just couldn't die. Um, and they were demolishing everything and completely overshadowing the plums. Um, GMO corn can error rumors, so I'm going to go and, because um, it can give us teleports. I'm going to go and do some other stuff first. I would like to. Sorry. Sorry, poop. See if I can get some more bombs. Item room I kind of forgot about as well. I mean, the Ankh's not really going to do much for us. I probably should have recycled it, to be honest, and see if I could have got a bomb. That would have been a better idea. Go. There's a key. We only got two bombs, but but because there's a bomb on the floor, I think we should this should work. And this should count as two explosions, if I'm right. That didn't blow that up. Okay. There you go. And we get Sissy along for the ride. Love it. Oh, dude, we have to get car battery. Oh my god, we have to get car battery. Okay, okay. Hold up. Hold up. This is a bit cheaty, but... But... For one... Put that down. Damn it. Um, I think we should go and take a look at what... Let's go give Ankh... C... Okay, it's 161. And then remove... Ah! I'm pressing wrong buttons. Remove C161 from us. And we'll use the recycler as we were planning to do. You see? I feel like that's way more worthwhile. I made a mistake, but... I came back from it. I guess I should take that trinket as well, actually. Undoing a bit of a mistake, because the Onk, we re revive as Blue Baby. We're already Blue Baby, baby. Um, and honestly, I think all of you would rather see this with car battery. Uh, what? Where the hell did that come from? Does anyone know where that came from? Well, it doesn't do anything for us because we don't have red hearts, but where the hell did that come from? 
I'm very confused. I mean, unfortunately, it's a really, really solid quality 4 item that does literally nothing for this character. So, bit of a shame on that front. We can't pick up the red heart or anything, so... But, <laughs> I wasn't meant to get it anyways, I guess, so... Okay, down we go. Pretty interesting first floor. Did something a little cheesy, but I think it was worth doing for the... For the interest of the uh, of the episode, how much damage does this do to me? It's going to be a, a gamble here, but okay, just three. Okay, that's three soul hearts for uh, some stats is is not really the best of choices. I'm not going to do that again. That was too much to lose. I right, reinforced will be ready. In fact, shall we for this next boss? Should we double up? Should we go with both of them? Oh, hello. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got demolished. <laughs> Whoa, look at go wait, 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 wait. Where did the regular plum come from? Where did you come from? Excuse me? What happened there? <laughs> I'm so confused. Where did the regular plum come from? Oh man, that's that's pretty funny. Okay. Well let's keep it going. <laughs> Yeah, where the hell did that other plum come from? There must be some interaction with using um, the various plum flutes on a plum fight. That's pretty funny, though. I like it. I like it. The whole family back together again. I'm going to do another room before I do my big room. I'd rather have my plum flute ready. Oh, I don't have a bomb for that tinted rock, unfortunately. I would very much like one. Don't know what that... Eh. No, because that would remove one of my plum friends. I do not want to do that, thank you. My plum friends are my life. Right, so this time we go like here, and then it'll spawn you in a slightly better spot to actually attack enemies. Oh, there, there's two of them. There's two of them stacked on top of each other. I forgot about that. Oh, wait, is that why it spawned a regular plum? Hold up, hold up a minute. If I if I just go and spawn in, uh, give Plum, reinforce Plum Fruit, C800. Okay, no, I, I was just checking to see if it, had a, if it had a specific car battery, like, interaction. Because maybe that's why it spawned the regular Plum. I think maybe it is. Which is really, really cool. I'm not going to use it on these enemies, though, because it's a bit of a waste. We can kill these relatively easily, but that is really cool. Car battery's got a specific interaction. At least I think it does. I like that. Rather than just spawning two of the uh, of the same guy. Cool, we got a really, really interesting item here. We got the whole family. Honestly, if I'd have known that's how car battery worked, I would have just given myself car battery for this episode to start it, because I feel like that would be a good way to do it. But let's let's use this and see if that works. Oh no, so that, that, is, that is two of them. So now I'm just confused. It must just be specifically on the plum fight or something then, I guess? Because that was definitely two of those guys. Maybe it's only when I, um, oh hello. Maybe it's only when I use both plum flutes at the same time it does that. Which would be a, a very specific and weird interaction, I guess. I'm guessing it was to do with using golden plum on the golden plum fight. But I can't be sure. Oh, look at the little baby plum doing its thing. It's so cute. It's so cute. To be fair, there is one more plum that I didn't get. Let's let's add that into the mix. So, plum flute give. Plum. Um, it's... Which one is it? Fruity plum. So, it's, it's this one. Uh, wherever that spawned. There you go. And then give Lemmageddon seven. Right. Then we go with this. And we grab. Oh, wait, no, because then this plum flutes in here. Ah, this doesn't really work. Hmm. I need to put down the plum flute somewhere else. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me pause, let me pause. Okay, I started it. So now, if I do that... Eh! 
Wait, what? Did I use the wrong item? What's the item that sucks? Oh, I'm thinking of Abyss, not Lemmageddon, you fool. Ah, oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Give Abyss. That's the one I'm thinking of, I think. I'm so confused. What? Why did it just turn into a bunch of locusts? I thought there was a specific abyss wisp for... I'm so confused. Let me try that again. Where you at? Where you at? Right. What does abyss do? Why is abyss not working? Consumes all item pedestals and spawns a locust familiar for each locust... What? That's not what abyss does. D Hold up. What? I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. I I is Abyss not the item that turns items into little locusts that have special effects? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Right, give myself the golden plum flute again. Plum. I tried something. I tried something. It didn't work. <laughs> I just wanted to get the additional there's a there's a plum like if if you if you use abyss as a uh, tinted um apollyon to suck up plum uh, like bit uh, fruity plum it'll give you a fruity plum locust and I was going to grab that too cuz I thought that'd be interesting but apparently that's not working does abyss just not work the same way on other characters or am I going crazy I thought it did or am I thinking of the entirely wrong item here? But I don't believe I am. I, I really am very unsure as to what's happening. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I've got lost in the sauce. The plum sauce. Oh, do you know what? Plum sauce is actually some good shit. Having a stir fry with like a plum sauce. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh! Uh, now the... Okay, so it's definitely using Golden Plum Flute. I think what's happening is the way that Golden Plum Flute is coded is maybe incorrect. Again, let's let's try spawning um, it on the floor and just check. I'm doing a lot of um, a lot of this right now. Yeah, because it doesn't say that it specifically has an interaction with car batteries. Uh, I do. I think it might be a bug because it doesn't always do it. Like sometimes it gives us two Golden Plums. Weird times, man. Weird times. We're discovering things here. We're discovering things. This has been an experimental episode. It really has. One thing I've got to remember as well about um, good old Papa Plum is I can use him to destroy stuff. For example, it's not a good usage of my of my time, but I can get like a bunch of mushrooms destroyed with this guy. And also, I did not know that he followed you between rooms. That is uh, That is some very good knowledge. That means we should be using him far more often. I don't believe the golden one does, but that one definitely does. Oh, that's a good item. Unfortunately, we cannot take. I probably should have given myself uh, the nurturing kit, really, but... Hey, her, here we are. Yeah, there's definitely two plums here. There's, yeah, they, look, look at that. Aw, isn't this cute? It's like brother and sister. I'd say Golden is the brother, and Regular is the sister, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't see the point in gendering things like that. <laughs> like, unless it's established law. Is there really any need to assign a gender to a random monster? Um, although there is there is an item, I think, in Fiend Folio that makes it so you deal more damage to male enemies or female enemies, which is weird. <laughs> Ooh, card reading, I will take. I'll also grab that, thank you. I like card reading. Oh, I don't have either of my axes ready for the goddamn boss. Okay, it's time for you to go, my my plushy plum friend. I'm trying to get rid of my uh, Lemmageddon wisps that I accidentally gave myself because I'm a moron. I can't believe I thought it was Lemmageddon. That was so stupid of me. I got it twisted.
decent stuff. Right, keep it going down. But yeah, the reinforced plum flute we ought to be using a bit more often now that we know it goes between rooms. Dark bum? I mean, actually, it's pretty useful in this character, so I'll take it. I'm gonna say, he gets like three or four attacks off, so he can do a good amount before the boss. He can do a good amount. Wait, no, so I do, I do have a proper Abyss Locust, it's just not a, not a correct one. Do I, wait, hold up, do I just not have the Abyss Plus Plus mod installed? That might be the issue. Let's go check. Yeah, I don't. Why don't I have that installed? I normally have that installed all the time. That's the main issue here. I just don't have the correct mod installed. I thought I was going crazy. Oh, hello, little Cramparina. How are you doing? You're not too big of an issue for us, are you? Oh, god damn. Oh my god, there's some fast tears, my guy. There are some fast tears. You also killed my little buddy. Get back up. There you go. You're back in the game. You're back in the game. But yeah, knowing that we can use our uh, reinforcement one between rooms is uh, super good. I'm going to do this. Why not? Ferryman, ferryman, take me away. I still think the ferryman uh, rooms should be a little rarer. They do seem fairly common. Sir. So, I guess I can do this and try and secure a victory with him. I missed that key there. That was bad. I'm trying to utilize this guy for multiple rooms if I can. There you go. I, I, got, I got a little bit more out of him there. Don't even know what happened there. Oh, there was a battery charge there. Why didn't I just pick that up? That would have been useful. Oh, that turned out to be an incredibly easy room for some reason. Hey, Black Moon's not bad at all. All the babies in the boat, let's go. I really like the design of that like, crumbled earth there. It's pretty goddamn cool. Right. Back over this way, we want to uh, take advantage of our shop if we can. I love the little -da 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 that, that it does when you uh, use this. Beautiful. What a G this guy is. We're also getting a lot of uses out of our flutes, to be honest. We're able to use them pretty consistently. Because one's a 4 in charge, one's a 6 in charge. It's kind of nice that they're like stilted like that. Check this out. That's what I was looking for, baby. Soul heart. Right, let's get out of here. To the next floor. I am loving the plum flutes, though. They are really cool. Honestly, the the, the reinforced one, obviously, I, 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 it is very rare, so I understand it, but it's very strong. Like, a lot stronger than I would have imagined it being. Very, very strong. Ooh, oh, come on. You know you want to do it. Oh, I was really hoping it would give me another fruity plum. <laughs> I was hoping. Lying in wait. Right, take you out. If you want to pop your head up, good, good. One plum flute is ready. Obviously not going to use it for this room. That's just terrible. Ah, really? It just damaged me. Should have used it to get out of the cash room, actually, because then I could have got a cash room item, and if it hurt me, use the iframes to get out. Bit of a missed opportunity there. Just using everything that's at our disposal in this room, apparently. Okay, this is definitely a good room for this guy. I just love how many rocks it destroys. It's such a wide radius. Right, quickly. Next room, next room, next room. 
Ah, didn't, didn't quite get there in time. You've got to be quick. Very, very quick on the draw with that. Otherwise, you kind of waste it. Do the slam. He did the slam, but a little too late. <laughs> All those flies were in a ring, and then the moment I broke the ring, it, it enabled Beelzebub. Because for some reason, the ring wasn't already charmed by Beelzebub. That's kind of funny. Oh, blur. <laughs> you thought, boy. You thought. Ain't happening, my guy. Ain't happening. I love it. Just let me fire little plums at enemies. Let me take it the whole nine yards. Is it nine yards? I don't know football terms. Nine yards seems wrong. I think that's the saying, isn't it? Go the whole nine yards? I feel like that's the, that's the right saying. Justice. I feel like our little fella, our little dark one, hasn't even fed us one shit. Okay. We're ready to go to the next floor. We're kind of speeding through the run, to be honest, at this point. Like... I can imagine um, the the reinforced uh, pl plum flute being like a god tier uh, quality four item if it just like lasted for longer. Like if it lasts for the entire floor or whatever, it would be so goddamn good. I wish he did the slam attack first. If he did the slam attack first, he'd probably gain us a lot more money. But that's probably why he doesn't, to be fair. Get him. Get him. Ah, slightly too late on that there. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this as a run. It's just a lot of fun. It's pretty unique. Ah! And I feel like as well, we're not that strong, which is making the Plum Flute's strength stand out a lot, lot more. And also, yeah, just car battery was an amazing grab. Like, without car battery, this wouldn't be anywhere near as strong, I don't think. But it'd still be strong, but not quite as strong as it's being right now. Right now, it's uh, it's it's pretty incredible. Godflesh. Obviously not the best, but at least it is the reworked Godflesh that is uh, that makes enemies that are crushed not do on-death effects. Makes it slightly more usable. Try to drop a bomb down there and... Take those guys out. The full moon thing is doing some good work here. There you go, crush that little fella. Again, bomb. That was kind of an unnecessary bomb, to be honest, but oh well. I'm checking out all the shops because we've been getting pretty lucky with them so far. <laughs> Get demolished. Steam sale. Not going to be able to find another room before this guy runs out of steam, unfortunately. Thanks for trying, though, my guy. Thanks for trying. But yeah, I just like the way that, like, both of these versions of Plum have a utility outside of dealing damage. One of them can destroy rocks for us, and the other one can get us money. It's just cool to have that, like, extra bit going on. We've got two charge keys here, which is kind of nice. Got both of our axes charged up from that, ready for the fight. But reinforced is the only one we care about for the fight. This one can be used on the way there if there's a room that requires it. That was not a room that required it. Neither is this. Some pretty easy rooms here. And this one will do. This one will do. This one's got some harder enemies. There you go. And reinforced is just about ready to go. Dude, there's so many rooms. I thought it would be like right next to the boss here. Is this an XL? No. Just a big ass floor. Hey, get crushed. God's flesh being actually usable is uh is a hard thing to get used to, I'll be honest. It's a very hard thing to get used to. What should I save for this room now? This room's huge. 
Although, to be fair, the plum flutes don't do the best on large rooms because they have kind of a hard time getting to the enemies before they expire. Um, rare stone chest there. Good trinket, but I'm happy with what I've got going on. This is a this is a double plum flute situation. This is. Unfortunately, Mum's foot is kind of the worst one to go against here. Dude, ugh. I'm having a really hard time against her right now. Yeah, th this was a terrible one to fight with the plums because they attack rhythmically and they did not fit the rhythm of Mother's foot. Yeah, I got hit like three times in this fight as well, which I feel pretty bad about. Excuse me, I didn't realize you could fire at such a sharp angle, you dirty cow. Chill with your feet. Thank you for at least giving me the soul heart back. That makes me feel a little bit better. What we got going on in here? Tech D6. Fills empty pedestals with hologram. Okay, we can't even use that. Contagion. Charm of the Vampire. Why does Charm of the Vampire not have a real description? It does heal you. Why does it just say 0 0.3 damage? That's weird. Um, I kind of want to do boss rush here, but there really isn't anything that's that good. Like, even the Mandrake is is, is pretty... pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's really worth it. There's, there's just nothing in there that's worth picking up. And yeah, that tech dice, real good, but for one, we've already got actives. And for two, I have a mod that removes pedestals. That item literally doesn't work. Hey. You gotta love it, being able to skip straight to the boss, although unfortunately I don't have either of my actives ready, which is a little bit sad. And we are pretty weak on our own right now, so... I think we got him. Oh god, that fire nearly got me. Dude, are you still not dead? How? <laughs> That's a good item for us to get right now. Please, with the soul hearts. Ayo. That was, that was very good. It was very, very good. Can you do it again? Can you give us straight to the boss again? You can, although we don't have a charge, which makes me a bit sad, but... Skipping womb floors is the most joyous occasion ever. It's one. Of, it's literally one of the only things I truly love about card reading is on the late floors, it makes it so much quicker to get through them because on the late floors, all you really need to do is kill the boss. Everything else is just kind of meh. <laughs> I don't know how... Like, I only know one person that full clears womb um, and cathedral and stuff, uh, never named. Everyone else, no, no one's full clearing these floors. There's just no need. We gotta rely on our little plums. The babiest of plums. No Papa Plum in sight. Excuse me, why why were they mismatched? Boom. Taken care of. Can we go three for three? Can we go three for three? We can, but do I actually want to? Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. I was going to say, do I actually want to because I want to have the flute ready, but honestly, this floor's meh. We can we can use it plenty on the next floor, so... Because the next floor we do want to clear. We don't want to go straight to the boss because we want to get extra items if we can. Use this invincibility to get in there and drop some bombs. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I do not have good damage or stats. Our, our, our plum flutes were carrying us so hard. <laughs> I'm using basically exclusively bomb damage to kill this guy now. Trying to revive my little baby plum whenever I can. The bombs are doing a decent job. Honestly, this plum blocking shots is quite nice for us. It's 
This is like the most amount of light faces I've ever had to do. But in the end, we did it. Yeah, that's why I like card reading. Can we go 4 for 4? I won't take the portal if I do, but can we go 4 for 4? That would be insane. Nah, no 4 for 4. I didn't think so. You can never get that lucky. Good stuff. Get in there, my plum friends. Thank you for the quarter that I don't need. I do wish there was like some sort of shop or somewhere to spend your money on these last floors. So it's very rarely anything to spend your money on. It's the same with like Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon has the same problem. What, what even happened there? The hell was going on? I have anti grab tears now, apparently. That's something. What are all you healing from? Get plumbed. I'm confused. What's keeping this guy alive? Okay, there you go. We've got a lot of skeletons helping us out now as well. Brrr. Get destroyed. Antigraph just prepped all those tears ready for him. Dude, the amount of skeletons you get from this item is insane. She's got an army of them constantly. I need more bombs, to be honest. Ooh, one's frozen. That's good. I don't need that, but I'll take it. Do you know what? I'll uh, I'll bomb these though. Skeletons, you don't you don't need to kill those. Although you somehow summoned more skeletons by killing them than you would have by not killing them, so fair, fair play. Oh, dude, what have I just done? I should have used both the flutes on the boss fight. I'm, I'm going to go back and charge it up. I want to use both the, flu the flutes on the last fight. Even though there's boss armor, so it won't really make much of a difference. I still want to do it. It feels blasphemous to not. Unfortunately, I absolutely hate this boss. Ah, dude, this boss sucks. To be fair, also my damage sucks. Um, having snake oil make my tears look bigger is not helping my cause either. Like, how are you not dead yet, dude? Thank you. Ugh, that boss is a pain. Right, one more room. Unfortunately, we've got to go all the way back and around to get to that one more room, but hey her. It's going to be kind of a rough fight, this, because of the boss army, you know. That helps. I don't think this does anything for us. No, I didn't think it did. I had to try. Oh, and I got hit there as well. It was so stupid of me. Right, let's go and hope we don't die. I have the highest of herps. I'm going to stagger my, my plums and not shoot them all out at once. We'll go in with the, the, the regular plum here. We'll take it from there. I told you, the, the basic plum on this boss with the boss armor didn't even get us past phase one. Right, then we come in with a big daddy boy. I 
And the last phase will be Ur Naturel. If we can survive it, which honestly I'm slightly dubious of. I've only got one bomb to work with here. Although the last phase is weird. The last phase can be really easy depending on the attacks uh, the last phase decides to do. This attack is not one of the ones I like with the ball. The one where she does the laser beams on you, though, or he does, whatever you want to call it. This one, this one's normally pretty easy. It just takes a really long time to finish the attack, and it's just like, slightly move out of the way, and you're good. If there was extra tears on the screen, it would make it a lot harder, but there isn't, so... Almost dead, but, but... The good thing is now, we have mostly got rid of the boss armor, so it's just damage. There you go. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was the plum run, and I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.